Welcome to another exciting episode of Kazi Big Boy Trev. I am Big Boy Trev and today we have something amazing courtesy of Toyota introducing to you the Toyota Urban Cruiser Crossover. But first things first, let's take a look at the highlights of today's show. This week on Cars with Big Boy Trev, Toyota Kenya gears up for the Safari Rally by introducing the Yaris GR Hot Hatch to the Kenyan market. And finally, we review Toyota's latest crossover, the Urban Cruiser. We analyze its innovative technologies, engine performance, fuel efficiency, and of course give you value for money proposition against its rivals, the Hyundai Krita and the Renault Duster. Catch this and much, much more on your Kazoo Big Boy Trev every Sunday at 6.30 p.m. only on KTN Home. Hello and welcome to CBBT News where we give you all the latest news and reviews from across the world. We are right here at the floor of Toyota Kenya. Very busy area as you can see because right here is the Toyota Gazoo Racing WRC car that's going to participate at the forthcoming Safari Rally June 26, 28th. 2021 it's going to be an amazing event 20 years after the rally left it's back with a bang and of course you can see this beast the current champion is right here on the floor and we are just excited to be in the presence of it and of course you can expect many other teams coming through you have hyundai with the wrc car also around and of course you have this baby come come take a look this 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 guys this is a toyota yaris gr the road going version of this particular vehicle and i can tell you we are going to sample it right here because with big boy Trev, it is the most powerful 1.6 liter engine ever made. Road production vehicle and of course it's got trick four wheel drive and 265 horsepower. I can't wait to drive this car. A lot of great reviews from Australia, Paul Marek, my friend, and many others. Stop, get, they've done all these cars. But now we're going to do it right here in Kenya, courtesy of cars with big boy Trev. On to our second news item when we go down under in Australia where we have reports reaching our desk telling us that Ford are busy preparing the brand new Ranger Raptor. It's going to be coming into the market in 2023, two years time. And I can tell you they've actually introduced the three liter power stroke V6 diesel, 185 kilowatts and of course 600 newton meters of torque sent to the four wheels via 10th speed automatic transmission. So that is a big power bump. Remember the current Ranger Raptor has a two liter by turbo diesel with 157 kilowatts and 500 newton meters of torque and of course still the 10 speed automatic we do expect quite a hefty rise in as, and as far as performance is concerned and of course plenty of other gizmos within the brand new ranger raptor of course you have the introduction of the brand new sync system with that 12.3 inch mega display that will house the climate control radio navigation everything that is involved to ensure that this particular vehicle meets and exceeds the competition who are the competition of course we do have reports as well that toyota will be bringing in the hilux gr edition the high performance version with the 2.8 super gd and of course there's also talk of it having an inline six cylinder diesel option coming soon so we can't wait so the market is getting excited and of course cars big boy trev will give you all the latest news when it comes to pickups stay tuned Welcome to CBBT feedback segment where we give you your feedback and today we jump straight into YouTube That's where we normally are and of course we're gonna start with this feedback from a guy called Henry Kimani And he says the really Land Rover have gone overboard in terms of technology Installing cameras underneath the vehicle to scan the road traction control at 360 degrees is quite impressive Hands up to Land Rover. Yes, the Discovery Sport again was a fantastic vehicle for that review And a guy called Peter Kimani says classy to look at comfy to sit in better technology than ever then there's the last guy who says uh, the Land Rover Discovery design is just meh. This is Elvis Jonio. Well, meh means it's, it's like here, not there. So I don't know. I mean, this particular vehicle is good, but you know, everybody has their own taste and opinion. So make sure you give us your feedback. So immediately after the show, go on YouTube, click subscribe, and then watch the rerun of the show on YouTube, and then give us your feedback on the show, on the products. And of course, we're going to read them to you just like now so till next week make sure you subscribe to our channel so we start this particular review by taking a look at the design face of this particular urban cruiser and i can tell you for a fact they have outdone themselves so as you can see visually we started with this horizontal slated 
grill over here with this chrome XR, which actually resembles the big brother the toyota fortuna not only that it's gray and of course you have this toyota badge emblazoned on it it's bigger now just to give it more presence now color coded bumpers also coordinate with the color of the body with this two-tone design so it's gray matte gray and you have this lip right here it's got that silver look so it's got that je ne sais quoi oh sorry okay so it's got that yoi look and feel so again making this car look pleasant look easy on the eye and that is something that Toyota really tend to do with the design face so as you can see corresponding with that whole design face is this design this rectangular LED daytime running lights and of course you do have by Zenon switch illuminate the road as you traverse a beautiful land of Kenya imagine crossover world with this particular vehicle going to Sharks going to Nevasha you guy my guy this particular vehicle is probably the car for you so how does the side profile correspond let's move to the side and have a look at the design face of the toyota urban cruiser so as we move to the side again plenty of design cues courtesy of toyota so this particular vehicle has those sharp edges to give that boot look looks like a bulldog you know it's ready to pounce on you but again also toyota have done some subtle design work now one thing i do like about this particular car is the way they have created the illusion of a floating roof design so as you can see it's a two-tone color so this is blue and they have painted it black and then of course corresponding with this blacked out door seals and window seals again giving this car that yoi that we keep on talking about on cars big boy trev not only that the contrast with the roof rails is gray black blue again yoi 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 origato mosaimos i can tell you this is just amazing work to see of toyota now as we move to the back there's a bulge here right here on the rear fender you notice know, this particular car has a little bit of oomph you know it's a gracious vehicle and of course the black cladding extends all the way to the back of the boat which speaking of that we are at the back the design theme again totally toyota again it's an urban cruiser so they've chosen the boxy square design so as you can see the rectangular lights the cluster it's got that led look that's right here and of course you have the reflector and the reverse light right here so it's tripezodial but very very good and of course they've decided to put in some more chrome to make it have that yoi but now the question still remains how good is the cabin is it practical is it safe has it all the bells and whistles you're looking for Let's step inside and have a look at the cabin of the Toyota Aman Cruiser. So guys, that's it. You've seen from the walk around the design perspective of this particular Toyota Urban Cruiser. It's not disappointing. It's easy on the eye and they love that butch square look. So is it the same inside? Let's step inside and have a look at the cabin of this particular vehicle. And the first thing you do notice is the squareness of this dashboard. So square looks like it's a theme. And of course, the highlight being this textured top part of the dashboard now the highlight again because i want you to look at the center console is this massive area so it's actually finished in piano black finish this is what one two three four five hexagonal design and of course you do have this color multi-touch display that Toyota have actually infused in this particular vehicle that actually has quite a number of things and the most important thing is it supports apple carplay and android auto so if in that category you're able to plug in your phone and of course the software will pick up from your phone you'll be able to transmit everything onto that multimedia display and you're able to be very practical so if you're using android auto for example you plug in so the android auto software comes into play you're able to navigate uh, the busy streets of nairobi or the country you're able to pick calls send messages send emails so basically you're becoming practical while on the road and that is something amazing and that's the way the level of technology is getting every day so cars need that it's actually a vital feature right now to have apple car play or android auto so it's a benefit now not only that it's got a banging good sound system that actually has six speakers as standard and of course you can enjoy your Roomba but if you're a young person some techno some house some quieto right there with this particular system you can play that either via Bluetooth so you stream using your phone you can actually plug in a USB port that's supplied by Toyota or of course if you're in that digital space you can actually download Spotify and use it within the Android Auto realm and you're able to play music from the cloud to here so i can tell you the level of technology and sophistication in this car is right there it's actually very very modern and remember this particular car is built for emerging markets emerging markets meaning india uh, sub-saharan africa brazil so this is brand new stuff that you're getting so again 
hats off to Toyota for making such a vehicle accessible to the rest of the population. Now moving over to the instrument cluster, again, simplicity is the name of the game. This particular cluster is very easy there. The italics are easy. So on the left-hand side, you have the tachometer. On the right-hand side, the speedometer. In between, you have a monochrome display that gives you vital information like range, fuel temperature, you know, uh, whatever the doors are opening, and of course, brake assist, ABS. All the sensors that are working in the car, you're able to see that vital information while driving. So you don't need to strain to look inside, so you're able to see it's visually represented. And of course, at night, it brights up in a light blue hues. The seats actually very supportive. They have high density form to ensure that long distances are not a bother when you're driving the urban cruiser or the urban commute. Not only that, this particular vehicle has rain sensing wipers as standard and of course uh, engine start stop technology and uh, auto leveling, beam adjustment so that you're able to eliminate the road depending on your height and how you've adjusted your seat. So again, plenty of those bells and whistles that just make sense at this price point so again competition is extremely stiff in this area but the question is how practical is the rear space let's move to the back and have a look and see if big boy trev can fit in the urban cruiser so moving over to the back again there's plenty of space this particular cabin is very spacious i am six foot one this seat has been set to my height i've just moved from there and as you can see there's plenty of leg room and of course headroom is fantastic there's no panoramic roof so of course there's plenty of airiness and of course what Toyota have done is to lower the window sill so that there's plenty of light that comes into the cabin again creating an illusion of space that is extremely important in this particular category the seats are very supportive and as you can see i've actually retracted the armrest to reveal two cup holders as you can see so this is my water right here as i film this particular uh, review if you don't want it you can actually retract it back and you have space for somebody who can sit here so three people can sit easily here of course the shoulder room is a bit small but again i'm not a regular size person so this one will just fit three kids or three normal size adults and of course this particular obtrusion this particular tunnel is lower so even the center passenger can actually enjoy and relax while in this particular vehicle one thing that i did not see is the use of a usb port right there they should have probably added one or two for the rear passengers remember this particular category people love technology they're on their phones all the time so perhaps toyota next time might ask them to just put some usb ports right here um the seat pattern is fantastic as you can see it's velcro it's got that hexagonal honeycomb sort of design again you, you can use materials but you can make them exciting and toyota have done that making it exciting and also the use of this light roof panel over here again light bouncing off again creating illusion of space that is extremely important in this day and age now this particular vehicle has only two airbags it doesn't have cutting airbags but again at the back you still remain safe because you do have seat belts which comes as standard right here it's important for you to wear your seat belt and of course isofix anchor points for your child seat so that you're able to fasten the seat properly and the child can remain safe remember the best place to put your child is at the back where maximum crash protection is all about and of course the headrest also prevent whiplash and of course also doing long distances you're able to relax your head as you traverse a beautiful country of kenya let's move to the boot and have a look at the boot space can it carry nyanyas vitungus your suitcases let's move to the back and have a look at the toyota urban cruiser boot space So guys, today is a beautiful day. We are sampling the Toyota Urban Cruiser, a vehicle built for the urban jungle. And of course, one of Toyota's repertoire among us, the many SUVs we've done. We've done the Prado, we've done, of course, the Corolla Cross, and many others are coming in on Kazi Vigotoy. But today's day is all about the Toyota Urban Cruiser, a vehicle that is efficient, of course, very practical, and of course, gives you that urban feeling. It's still sharp. So what does it hold in store for us? Let's talk about the engine. Now, up front, you do have the famous K15B engine that delivers 103 horsepower and 138 newton meters of torque that is sent 
to the front wheels courtesy of a four speed automatic gearbox that allows this car to accelerate all the way to 100 in roughly about 11 seconds before topping out at 180 km an hour but of course also the four speed gearbox is very smooth and allows this car to return a fuel economy figure of roughly about 13 kilometers to the liter which is not too bad for a 1.5 liter engine remember nairobi right now there's plenty of traffic because of the road work you need a vehicle that is able to you know sip fuel very economically not only that it also allows you to enjoy the sweet engine there 1.5 liter is actually free revving because it's it's got variable valve timing and of course just allows you to enjoy the peppiness at low rpm stretching all the way now let's talk about the suspension and the chassis now this particular vehicle is based on the tech chassis the tech chassis is a new modular platform that toyota has used to ensure that you do have a vehicle that has one good handling prowess two stability three um of course is safe for everyone because it's made of high tensile steel and uh, reinforced side members now obviously up front you do have mcpherson struts at the back you have a trail link suspension system that allows this car to be planted and also gives you a good ground clearance which we all love now in terms of the steering wheel as well fantastic to drive it's very sharp when you're you know driving at high speed it beefs up to ensure that you remain steady on the road and of course when you want to park then it softens up and you're able to park through tight spaces if you're in a shopping mall or in town you're able to park this particular urban cruiser quite easily so ladies if this is the car for you then perhaps you should consider buying it now let's talk about the braking system this particular vehicle has a repertoire of safety features to ensure that you remain safe while on the road so you have a mixture of active and passive safety features including anti-lock braking system which prevents wheel lock and allows you to steer clear of an obstacle brake assist to ensure that you have maximum uh, brake force applied during an emergency and ebd as well that ensures the brakes are actually working on all four wheels now in case of air brake system you can rely on the dual airbags that come that sell in this particular vehicle and of course you have a foster safety rating the chassis is well built with stand impact and dissipate impact energy away from the passenger cell to ensure that you and your family remain safe while in the toyota urban cruiser that is extremely important but the question still remains how good is this car or from the corner veer off the tarmac and get into some beaten track to see the ground clearance and the performance of the urban cruiser in an urban jungle So guys you just stepped off the beaten track and we've just gone to see the capabilities of this particular urban cruiser can it do some light off-roading so we are right here at our test track just outside zangata and i can tell you it is as capable as it can be so basically up front you do have mcpherson struts and at the back you do have a torsion beam suspension it basically um, ensures that this car remains planted both on and off-road and also allows this car to you know go through some certain segments of the road that are very impossible so you have a ground clearance of roughly about 198 millimeters that allows you to traverse the beautiful country of kenya with ease and of course it being for <coughs> and of course it being front wheel drive you're able to get out of sticky situations but you have to use common sense because you need to see what kind of road you're driving in because you can't just put yourself in mud and assume that it's gonna take you off like a land cruiser but this one is as capable you can do some light off-roading and of course the are ground clearance you're able to do a lot you can traverse this beautiful city of kenya and our country and of course you're able to explore the full potential of the engine and of course the capabilities of the car now the urban cruiser is one of the cars that i think will determine the direction at which kenyans will start absorbing this crossover slash soft owner market but the question still remains how good is this car and as far as value for money is concerned they're just gonna go straight away and do value for money well guys that has been the review of the toyota urban cruiser practical for city use and of course plenty of technology efficiency space practicality i think this is a big seller so the question is what is the value for money proposition now we start with the price now toyota kenya sells this particular car 2.7 million kenya shillings vat inclusive and comes with a three-year 100,000 kilometer warranty whichever comes first plus you can rely on toyota kenya's extensive network across the country from mombasa to lodwa to kisumu to nyeri you're able to service this urban cruiser and of course give you maximum value and finally we know that this particular vehicle exists in a space where there's plenty of competition who are the key rivals we start with the hyundai Krita 
which we reviewed on Kaze Big Boy Trev in case you missed please check out our YouTube channel and of course the Suzuki Brezza which is a sister to this but offering a different preposition so do you reckon this particular car is better than the rivals send us your thoughts as seen on the social media notes below when you get back to the feedback next week but before I sign out how do you catch Kaze Big Boy Trev after the show Immediately after this show ends, go to YouTube. YouTube premiere starts at 7 p.m. and you can catch this particular episode, plus many more of our reviews that you've done in the past. Seven seasons going to eight and still counting the best of Kenyan motoring reviews right here on Kenyan soil. So stay tuned, subscribe, like, and share. You can reach us out on our social media handles, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and of course YouTube. Please holler, tell us your feedback. We love it because we are here for you. So until next week, drive safe. And be safe.